All right, people. This is a crazy time we're living in right now, but let's just forget about the whole outside world because we have an electric dirt bike to build. All right, so you made it to episode four of this gas to electric pit bike conversion video that we got going on here. And we left off on episode three with removing this gas engine. And we kind of mocked up the electric motor in it and I showed you a problem I was gonna have and we were gonna make a jack shaft and all that good stuff. If you haven't already, go watch that video. I'll put the link underneath this one or just go to my channel and watch it. But I did also leave off with one question for you guys to answer in the comments and let me know what you guys think. And that was in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see this thing be built as a street supermoto that I could take onto go-kart tracks and race it, or if I should leave it as a dirt bike. You guys absolutely killed it in the comments section. There were so many comments, and it was like a 50-50 split, and I ended up making it a supermoto. And here's the reason why behind it. Mainly for testing purposes, I know we're so far away from that, but I'm just thinking ahead after we put the motor and the batteries in it. I'm not trying to just wipe out my knobbies by riding it on the street to test it. So these super mode tires look sick. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to have a race season this year because of everything that's happening. It will still be pretty cool to ride it up and down the street. But since we have all this extra time on our hands. I feel like I should give you guys a little behind the scenes of my thought process and how I come up with my ideas for making this all possible. Like how am I going to design motor mounts and where are we going to put the batteries. So that's kind of where we're going to start off on this episode. Here's some of the stuff that I've pre-ordered already. Came in the mail before this whole epidemic happened. We got sprockets of all different types. We got pillow block bearings, our 7 8 jack shaft that's keyed, the keyway is for the sprockets to lock onto that, we got a chain tensioner, we got some Pro Taper 420 MX chain, we also got this pretty cool throttle and what this is is a regular twist throttle that converts the twisty motion into a Hall Effect three wire electric throttle. So that's pretty cool, but there is one thing I don't like about this throttle is the size of this grip. It's too big. I'm more of a skinny kind of grip guy. I like the regular dirt bike grips. Here's like a comparison of the two. It's probably hard to tell on the camera, but this one is definitely way bigger than this one. So we're just going to have to figure something else different on how to make that work, but it's a pretty cool setup we got here. And this was actually recommended in one of my older videos by this guy. So thanks for sharing that link and showing me this product. We also got banjo bolt pressure switches for the brakes to run regenerative braking. So these are basically going to be the signal power up the regenerative braking so we have brakes on the motor we're also going to have the hydraulic brakes that are on the dirt bike but that's just some of the stuff i ordered i was able to find some scrap aluminum and obviously we got that plastic board to do some battery box stuff with but i don't really have a design yet on how am i gonna have the electric motor in here, plus a jack shaft, plus six green work batteries. So let's get some paper and let's start drawing some things out. Actually, before we draw anything, we're gonna have to remove all these fenders so we know what the frame looks like so we can draw it. So here's our frame. And basically, we're just gonna try to draw that on this. So here's like a rough sketch. Here's the frame, here's the drawing. Let's bring it over to the table. So here's our left side and our right side. And here's kind of what I was thinking, just throwing it out there. We're gonna have to get six green work batteries. So I was thinking of putting one battery up by where the gas tank is. So we're gonna have one battery there. And then I was also thinking of putting another battery going vertical underneath it on one side and the same on the other side. 
So that'll give us three batteries, roughly around where the gas tank would be. And then what I could do is take the actual gas tank, cut it in half, and have the gas tank cover. So it kind of holds the shape of the original dirt bike still if you kind of get what i'm trying to do there so three batteries and the gas tank cover that's part one now for the motor itself i was thinking of just shoving the motor up here somewhere in the frame there's a sprocket it's going to go to the jack shaft that's going to bring us to this location so on the right side we'll get to that after it's going to have a chain and then from here it's going to go to our back wheel so from the jack shaft to the back wheel but i still got to fit three more batteries so possibly I was thinking somehow, I'm not too sure how yet, we can probably sneak them in going the other direction. One, two, maybe three. And then I gotta make a big plate to hold all that using this aluminum plate. So that's from one side of the bike and the other side of the bike. So jack shaft side, motor to jack shaft, and then from jack shaft to back sprocket. That's our design. Let's try to make it a reality. So here's a little proof of concept. Battery over there, and one on this side, and the same thing on this side. So the three on the gas tank. That's what it'll look like. Now these all have to be removable so I could charge them. It's gonna be a little tricky, but let's get to it. So for these batteries to be removable, what I'm thinking is using the 16 gauge steel and making a little box to enclose these batteries in so I can weld it to the frame. Let's throw on a time lapse. I don't know how this is gonna work out. All right, so here it is, box number one. It's not perfect, but proof of concept. Battery slides into it, and it gives us a little metal box that we can weld onto the frame. So let's go put it on the frame and see what it looks like. All right, so here's the frame. Here's the box with the battery in, and I'm thinking something like that. Hmm. We just ran into a little problem. I think I gotta cut the top of the box. This way I can actually get the battery out. Let's do a little chopping. So what I'm thinking is cut the top of the box. This way the battery can go in and slide. And we'll just start by cutting it somewhere over here. Should take two seconds and look like that. So here it is, battery. Goes in, drops, slides in to like about there. And same thing when you take it out, pull it out, lift it up, take it out. Let's go try it on the bike. All right, you might have to use your imagination for this one, but imagine it's like that. And then we take our battery down, in, and slide. So that's battery box number one. 
popping out. We just need to make two more of these kind of boxes. Here are two boxes. So now we got all three for the gas tank. I don't know, maybe something like that. And the same on the other side. Let's just jump to a time lapse and weld this all together. So here it is, battery box number one. And here's the idea of it. That's gonna go in. It's gonna slide in, lock. Here's that gas tank cover. A little something like that. Our seat. And now it's time to make the side ones. And what I'm going for on these are to have it covered by the side covers. So it'll be a little something like, maybe like that. Get my drift. All right, so everything is only tack welded. Nothing is permanently welded because I'm still kind of messing around with the idea, but kind of just noticed the problem I'm running into that we're going to have to fix. We're going to have to do a little trimming to get these side batteries to actually slide into the holders. So what I'm thinking to do for that is we're just going to do something like this. And then maybe a little bit later, we'll do some kind of little flare. But we'll start with that first. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that was really hard, but we gotta do the same thing on this side now. So let's just do that fast. All right, here we go. Let's put the batteries in it and throw the fenders on it and see what we got here. Here's battery number one. Battery number two. And battery number three. Absolutely flawless. I'll see what it looks like with the fenders. And there it is. We'll do a little walk around. But first, the most important part, you know, you gotta keep that fuel in that tank. But there it is, three batteries out of the six on the bike. Pretty low profile. I personally think it looks perfect. But I'm not gonna lie, this was a lot of work and I think we're somewhere in like the 15 minute mark. So I think we're gonna bring this video to an end. But before we do so, I got something to show you guys for the next episode that I hope will be out a lot sooner than this one. I'm sorry this one took so long, but thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. But here's a scaled representation of the motor and the jack shaft. So here's what I'm thinking. We got three batteries up here. We got the motor, we got the jack shaft. We're gonna need to fit three more batteries and here's how I'm thinking. 
We'll do two like this, one like this, and I think I want to make them kind of have something that would look like that. If you get what I'm talking about, you would kind of see it, but oh, that's not going to happen until next week's episode. I shouldn't say next week, till the next episode. So give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for all you guys that repost this video on Facebook or anywhere else. If you let me know in the comments below, I'll give you a shout out in the next episode. But once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Electric dirt bike conversion.